Hey everybody! Welcome to Mixology Monday. So I'm gonna give it a minute, wait for everybody to hop on, and I need a piece of paper to write everybody's name. That way, everybody gets credit for being on. Hey Rachel! Hey Diane! So we're gonna give, hey Rachie, so we're gonna give everybody a second to hop on and I'm gonna write everybody's name down that way. Tomorrow when we do our drawing, hey Diane, um, everybody, I get everybody in there. Cause a couple of people told me that, um, hey Erica, um, a couple of people told me that they were on last week and um, I didn't put their name in. And if I didn't put your, hey Jasmine, if I didn't put your name in, it's because I did not see you. Um, I didn't see your name there. So if there's any doubt in your mind, say hi and that way I'll be sure to see you. Hey Cassie. Hey, Charlene. Okay, guys, so a couple of things I want to go over with y'all real quick before we start Mixology Monday. Um, I'm good, Jasmine, honey. How are you? So, one, the number one thing I want to go over with y'all is... Um, if you've been a customer of mine from a, for a while now, you know that when you order Pink Zebra, within two to three days, it's shipped normally. And then along came COVID and changed everything. So, I got a notice today from our CEO telling us that effective today, they have put on a third shift. So, oh, I'm so glad, honey. So, um... This is super news for us guys. So they asked us to give them, you know, a few days to get all the little tweaks out, but this should definitely put shipping back on track. So I'm just like you guys, I want my stuff right away too. So it, it's it's been a struggle. I ordered um, almost all the new scents. I think I have like seven left to order that I haven't ordered. But other than that, I've ordered everything and I'm still waiting for for my shipments and my samples. So I just had um, one shipment that literally sat for seven days before FedEx picked it up. So that'll be here Wednesday. So hopefully, hopefully everything will get back on track. So that's the number one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. Second of all is if I don't have your email address, you should definitely send that to me because I try to keep you guys up once a week on things that are going on. So today, everyone whose email I had, um, if you haven't seen it yet, go take a look. So I sent you a couple of attachments. One is the explanation of how the VIP subscription club works. And the other one, is telling you about the upcoming Halloween blend bash that's October 5th it explains everything it explains all the sprinkles that are in there um, so for those of you who don't know the first Monday of every month for the next six months is going to be mixology Monday blend bash and our first one is going to be on um, September 7th, and that one is sold out. So our next one is October 5th, and that one will be the Halloween Blend Bash. And um, you definitely don't want to miss out on that. There's only 10 boxes per Blend Bash, so they go very quickly. Um, for every one that you buy, you get an entry. 
in October, I will be raffling off the orange iridescent simmering light. So there's, you have a one in 10 chance, unless you buy more than one box, and then your odds obviously go up. So not only are you getting a box, a blend bash box that's worth close to $50 for $30, but you're gonna, when you're gonna have the opportunity to win that orange iridescent simmering light, which is very cool, especially with all the October shades. Oh my gosh. So that's one of those ones I'm gonna buy for myself as well. So I think that pretty much takes us up to date. Um, for my VIP subscription holders, all your boxes went out. And um, as you guys know, your sample for next month's Paisley pick is in there. Um, you want a box, Cassie and Rachel? Okay. Okay, so let me just write that down. So Rachel and Cassie. So, um, Diane, boxes have to be paid for in full by September 10th, so you have to let me know before then. Hey, hey, Liz! Um, and that's if there's any left. So, you want one? Okay. So, it's just... Okay, Cassie, I got you. So, Rachel, Cassie, and Diane. So, Charlene, boxes are $30. Um, I sent you an email today. I'm pretty sure I sent you an email. Mm. So, <gasps> Cassie, that is amazing news. Oh, my gosh, honey, I'm so happy to hear that. That is phenomenal news. So for those that don't know Cassie, Cassie's husband was um, in ICU for over a month with COVID. And he just, just was moved to, um... that's okay, Charlene, when you get a chance, just look at it. I sent you two attachments and it explains everything, but they're, they're $30 and it's, a, it's like a $50 value for the box. And they make awesome gifts. I mean, they're a perfect price point for gifts as well for the holiday season. So Cassie's husband went to rehab, and he stood um, he stood up today for the first time. Oh, my gosh, Cassie, I'm so happy for you guys. That's Gosh, you guys have been through so much. That's so amazing. So um, just like that, we started out with 10, and now we're down to 7. So bash boxes go really quickly. And there is only 10. So, you guys, um, those of you that are new, take a look at um, the email I sent you when you have a chance. There's a, it's a visual. So, um, see, it shows you everything that comes in your box and a description. And then it also tells you um, all the different kinds of sprinkles um, that are that come with that particular bash box that you get to mix and match and you get to make up th what's equivalent three blend bags each blend bag is equal to one jar of sprinkles so just the three blend bags alone cover the cost of your box and diane's taking another one guys so now we're down to six and i know for a fact that tina wants some so because she already told me that as soon as I um, put them available for sale, that she was going to she want, Charlene wants one. Okay. Okay, guys. That's five left, and Tina bought four last month, so there might be, we'll see how many Tina buys. There may or may not be one left. So that's that brings us up to date on all of that. 
Um, and let's talk about our blends for tonight. So, I don't have any of the new scents. I have, I do have some of the new scents. That's not true. But I have them because they're returning, not because they're they're brand new. Brand new ones are ordered. I just haven't received them yet. Look at my hair. It's sticking up. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Um, so here's our blends for tonight. The first one we're gonna do is. I think this is Charlene who doesn't like banana bread. Is it you, Charlene, that doesn't like banana bread? I think it is her. I could be wrong, but I think so. So she's not gonna like this one. But um, we're gonna take one scoop of banana bread. Yeah, I thought it was you. So Charlene is not gonna like this one. And one scoop of amber fig. I know Rachel's like, I love banana bread. One scoop of amber fig. Amber fig is one of the new scents that is, a, it's a returning scent. Diane does too. I know she does. Because I was over there the other day. And one scoop of vanilla waffle cone. And that's going to be our first blend tonight. And normally, I blend these and test them because I have a pretty good idea of what goes together, but sometimes you never know. But anyway, today, um, I know, Cassie, it really does. Um, I've been really tied up and I didn't get a chance. So I am smelling them for the first time. Oh, I really like that. Very cool. So that's your first blend tonight. It's banana bread, amber fig, and vanilla waffle cone. So that's our first one. And then I thought we'd do, because we've done so many holiday ones, and we are going to do one more holiday one tonight, but I picked two that are outside, and I know Charlene's husband um, really likes stress relief, which got me to thinking I should make something with stress relief, because I haven't done that in a long time, so we're going to do one of those, too. So tonight, this is our clean scent. This is get it all in there. This is sea salt and vanilla. One scoop of air care. That's what she said last week, Cassie. Erica won last week. And one scoop of clean. And for those of you who are, um, well, I, I, most of you, um, almost all of you get a, a, a Paisley pick sample. Um, so the new scent, which is Angel Grace, is also a very clean scent that I think would go good with what we're doing right now. I think I could easily have switched out um, Yeah, this one's a really clean scent, oh, Charlene. Um, so I think we could have like switched out um, Angel Grace for um, sea salt and vanilla. I love this one. Mm, that sea salt and vanilla is everything. And if you know, if you've never tried Air Care, Air Care is just what it says. It cleans your air. So if you ever have an accident in the kitchen or you have a stinky teenager, like these are perfect. In my case, I have a stinky 35 year old that's been spending the night every now and then. And yeah, I've been using a lot of air care soaks lately. So here's the one that I was thinking about for 
Charlene's husband. So, this is one scoop of stress relief. And one 18-year-olds. <laughs> now double that, because your brother's making me crazy. I love him so much, but... Okay, one scoop of black quartz. And these are all from the botanical portion of the catalog. So if you don't know, like stress relief is um, eucalyptus and spearmint. So good. And the last thing, hey Rochelle! The last thing that we're gonna add to that is Relax Lavender and Vanilla. Rochelle, if you haven't looked at your email, look at your email I sent you today. It's got a couple of attachments. One of them is about next October's Halloween Blend Bash. They went on sale tonight and half of them are already gone. So if you're interested, you might wanna, wanna look and then shoot me um, a message and let me know before they're all gone. You like that one? I was thinking about your husband when I when I put this together today. Because I think sometimes, you know, we ladies think that wax is like a ladies thing, but I swear to you, men, my husband, if you knew my husband, he, believe me, Last person in the world you'd think would have an opinion until I is Pink Zebra. And he has an opinion on every set now. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can see where this would really be relaxing. Say so this is relaxed lavender and vanilla, black quartz, and stress relief. And it smells like a day at the spa, guys. Like this, we really need smell a vision. Oh, I know. My grandson, Damian. Oh my gosh. I wish I had the picture of he and his friend sitting at the table going through all the sprinkles. I mean, I'm telling you, boys love this. Love this. My grandson has his, for Christmas, my grandson wanted um, a simmering light and an accent shade and more sprinkles. Oh, we do need smell vision Okay, so our last one tonight is pure pomegranate. So... This is really sweet. And I wanted to um, do something. When you have a scent that's really, really sweet, sometimes it's good to mix it with something that um, you would be, you just wouldn't expect. So that's what we're doing tonight. So this is one scoop of pure pomegranate and believe me it is it it smells exactly like really really sweet ripe pomegranate and i'm gonna mix this with one scoop of holiday home so this is the unexpected and cinnamon. So this is our last one. had to do I would do this one over again 
I think I think maybe it's got too much cinnamon but if you like cinnamon you'll like this one but that pure pomegranate we're gonna do that again we're gonna we're gonna do a redo with pure pomegranate because it is such a sweet smell um and I think there's some really good um, new ones that we could mix that would be more in the foodie line. Um, but I don't have them yet. So I'm definitely going to use that pure pomegranate again. So you will see it on another Mixology Monday for sure. Um, if, I get, um, if I get my shipments, then you might see it next Monday. Do it with French vanilla. That would be really good. I just had, I just delivered a, um, something with French vanilla today. What the heck did I do today? Mm. Maybe, Liz, maybe that would be good too, pumpkin pie. I haven't smelled pumpkin pie yet. I mean, other, so I don't have a, well, I don't have a carton of it, I should say. So that's our that's our four blends for tonight and now I'm super intrigued and I can't wait to use pomegranate with something else now too so for everybody who participated tonight um, if you're new to mixology Monday what happens is tomorrow at 8 o'clock I go live for just a teeny little tiny bit of time and I'm going to pull one of y'all's names and whoever's name gets chosen will win everything that we mixed tonight, which is equal to one jar. So, it's like winning a free jar, but you got blends. And nothing is better than blends, guys, because let's be honest, that's what makes Pink Zebra so special, is that we can blend it and make it uniquely our own, so. That's the end of Mixology Monday. Anybody have any questions? Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Charlene. This is Charlene's first night with us, so yay! Welcome, Charlene. We're super excited to have you here. And don't forget, look at your emails, guys. And if you are not, um, if you're not on the email list, you should be because I send all kinds of good stuff your way. And that takes care of it for tonight, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys so much. You are just, I tell you this every week and I know it sounds repetitive, but from the bottom of my heart, I do love you guys. You are truly the heart of my business. I could not do any of this without you. You guys make it so much fun. I, I love, love, love. Um, seeing you guys every week and I'll see you tomorrow night guys